the team is living with eternity in view. But the topic before us this morning is our internal hope. Sometimes you look at internal hope. What, where is your hope? What is your hope? Where is your hope? What is your hope? Your hope determines what you accept in life, how you live your life, how you view life, how you see life. Everything is centered around your hope. What you hope for. What you look after. What you look for. How you see life is determined by your hope. So our internal hope is what makes for our living. Is what makes for our relationship. Is what makes for our motivation. Our eternal hope is what makes for what we do. Is what makes for what we are. Is what makes for what we pursue. Is what makes for what we desire. Is what makes for what we are hungry after. Is what makes for what we thirst about. Is what makes us to become the life that we are or we become. Amen. If we are in Christ, then our hope is not limited to this life here on earth. Our hope will become eternal. In 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 11, we are told that since we address Brother Peter, address the brethren, dear beloved, say, I beseech you as strangers, pilgrims, strangers, pilgrims, that means, Bro Peter was telling the brethren that you are a stranger, you are a pilgrim. I know I gave recognition that your hope is not to satisfy the flesh. It's not to live within the enrichment of this world. You have a hope that is internal, that is beyond the present situation, the present life. You have hope that live on and live forever. So, when we look at Daniel chapter 1, we're told how brother Daniel was separated, how he was choosing out of the brethren from Judah to serve the king. And, and Daniel, one, he was a prisoner of war. But that is not what, that wasn't the hope that separated brother Daniel to live his life, to determine what he eats, what he drinks, and how he becomes what he becomes. He was much more consigned and committed to the hope of what God had in stock for him. Hence, he lived as a pilgrim. He lived as a stranger. He never allowed himself to settle for the reality of what the king wanted to limit them to. The reality of what this life wanted to limit him to. He refused. He treated himself as strangers. He treated himself as a pilgrim. As someone that have a place he's going to. As someone that is guided by something that may not be seen or real in that realm wherein he was. He was living that life. He was committed to it. And by so doing, he knew what to be separated from by reason of the life and the hope he had. He did not settle for the king's meat because it would have been offered to idols. Just like what we defy the flesh. Propel, bro. Peter, Peter said, separate yourself as ten from fleshly lust. From things that will defy your hope. From things that will make your hope to be reduced to nothing. He was trying to tell them 
as strangers live here as someone having the know that this place is just a temporary place. This place is just set up to take you to where you actually belong. Our hope, our joy, our life, everything is determined by the hope we have. Our home is heaven. Portray what we accept here. Gives us a portrait of the life we live here and the hope we have here. If for instance I'm making money, I'm not making money because it's the end of my joy. I'm making money as a means to the end. I'll make that money I use it according to the hope I have. Hence, I don't stock up money. I use it to the glory of that hope I live for. Amen. Amen. If I'm dressing, if I'm accepting any proposal, if I'm accepting any relationship, if I'm accepting anything to engage my strength, my will, my desire, my focus, my energy, they will be defined around the hope I have. So this morning, as we have seen it very clearly here, that if only in this life you have hope, you have all men most unhappy, most miserable. But to God, be the, have you hope in, the, in this life after here? And those things we now live for uh, here, even when it's not supposed to be here, is determined by the hope after here. And if what we live for is not here, then we are sure that the hope we live for will give us the assurance that heaven is real. And heaven being our hope, defining the moment here, it makes it certain to know the path to take. And if the path to take is leading us to heaven, then everything about us here is used by us. It's not used by God. It's used by us to channel it in the direction that will take us to that home. In the road, it will keep us in the way. It will keep us in the road. It will keep us in the lifestyle that will take us approved of God, making us to be sure that every step I take, whatsoever I do, wherever I allow my leg to take me to, whatsoever I allow my hands to do, they are pathway to the home I am working for, I am living for. Now, there are things I want to consider here. There are people who hope is a gain, the profit, the benefit, the, pro the prosperity here on earth. If, secondly, how are they like? They trust in their words and boast in their great riches. Now those who hope, whose hope is internal. Number one, what they look like. One, like Daniel, they seek to be the praise of God's glory. Like Daniel, they seek to be the praise of God's glory. For their trust is totally God. They don't trust what they can do for themselves. They can't trust what they can eat as something that will give them the energy they need in life. But their whole trust, their whole life is in God. Hence, they seek God continually. Number two, living in this life, having in mind that it does not end here. So because it does not end here, abstain from fleshly lust and worldly lust. Number three, they are engaged in the work of faith and labor of love. They are engaged in the work of faith 
and labor of love. The fourth one of those who are who are they like those who have hope in eternity. They are not ashamed, and they are persuaded of their faith in God. The next number is they endure persecution and having the end as a sustaining strength. They endure persecution, having the end as a sustaining strength. The, the next one is whose hope are eternal. They are guided. They, they guide what has been entrusted to them. Okay, They guide the treasure what has been entrusted to them. And they avoid irrelevant lifestyle of waste.